Hey guys, this is Scope. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire! Yes! I'm way too excited to be playing this game right now. Way, 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 way too excited. But I'm also way too hot. It is extremely hot. Uh, hopefully you don't hear that wind. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, we're back here playing Pokemon Sapphire. And uh, I already said that. And in the last episode, Chicken Jr. evolved into Chick Buskin. And... He, with his new double kick technique, is going to kick uh, Roxanne's... He's going to kick her clucking ass. That's right. That's what's going to happen right now. So let's do it. I am just... No. There's no... Nothing. We're not going to do anything. We're not even going to heal. I'm pretty sure I'm already healed, but it doesn't matter. We don't need it. We don't need you. All right. I'm going to look you right in your eyes and fight you. Hello. I'm Roxanne. I beat you a million times. Let's see if you can beat me now. Oh, yes. What? Ha ha. I am better than you. No. Because right now, I'm going to... Do, are her legs just naturally pink like that? Or is she wearing some sort of leggings? I don't know, but she looks ridiculous. Jada, Super Saiyan! Oh, okay, so now we are going to... uh, What? Double kick. Watch this. Shazam! Shizuki. Holy ball sack. That is overpowered. And yeah, he's still got that, and he's probably still gonna... Oh yeah, look at how little damage that does to Chick Buskin. Beast mode. Alright, yeah, use your potion, but you know what? You're still gonna die, because that's not gonna heal enough HP. You're gonna die. Yeah. And see you, Geo shit. You suck. You die. Alright, awesome. The only thing that sucks, though, is after this battle, Chicken's gonna be so extremely overleveled from the rest of the party that we are going to need to... You know, uh, get Cujo some massive levels. He's gonna need to take the front for a while, but that's all right. Oh, and somebody left in the comments that uh, he learns he learns bite at level 13. So, see, I was close. Right, I'm just gonna use it. We've got eight super potions, so I'm just gonna use one on Chicken real quick, just in case Nose Pass pulls something. Just in case her Casim G does some unknown technique. Yeah, that's right. I said Casim G. All right. Le all right. I guess we can. Use some spam some sand attack while we wait. Ugh. Oh, by the way, I'm back in the intense gaming position. You know how it is. Harden. Well, that is honestly not good. Come on, just attack me. Don't be a puss. Just attack me. Nose pass. Cassum. Do it. Yeah, so apparently those things covering on his side, those are his arms, and they're covering his ears. Because I believe he has ear holes, and then those thing, those holes on his feet, I don't know what those are, but those are his feet, and then he's got a huge nose and eye. I don't know, it's, apparently this guy's very weird to depict. And like, the future generations, or actually, I don't even know, no, yeah, he doesn't have an evolved form in this generation. Or does he? I don't know. All I know is his ultimate evolved form looks so ridiculous. It's probably one of the most ridiculous looking Pokemon in the history of the world. Like, ever. It's so stupid. All right, well, oh, oh yeah, I guess he's not going to be able to kill me if I keep using sand attack. All right, well, we'll switch to Chicken Jr. now. He'll probably miss, so he might be okay. Hey, yo, Chick Buskin! Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Now check this out. Double kick in your face! That's a one. And a two. Yeah, it's severely weaker against Nose Pass, but that's all right. It still does more damage than anything else we would have done. And he's missing like a bitch anyway, so it don't matter. It don't matter, because our homies don't dance. We just pull up our pants and do the rock away. All right, uh, he's going to use a potion. She's going to use a potion, because she's still got one left. We killed Geodude too fast. But it's all good. I'm pretty sure Nosepass has a berry, too. I think I think she, I think think she. he has a berry. If so, these gym leaders are just redonk. I mean, berries and potions? Like, on the first gym? Oh, I guess he doesn't have a berry. Oh, he's got one HP left, man. Ha, uh, you can't even touch chicken, bro. I'm gonna kill you with peck just to add insult to injury. Heh <laughs> you die. And that's it! We finally beat Roseanne! Ha ha! Did I really just call her Roseanne? Let's see that in an instant replay. And that's it! We finally beat Roseanne! Ha ha! Face palm. Yeah, baby! So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. 
Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Barge. And 1500 bucks. Something I didn't mention in the last episode, too, is when she was kicking my ass all that time, uh, I was losing half of my money each time. So, yeah, it halves your money when you lose. So, there you go. So, you know how it said the Stone Badge heightens the attack of your Pokemon? Well, I don't think it does. Every time they give you a badge, they say it does something stupid like that, but I don't think it ever does. Maybe it raises everyone's stat by, like, one? I don't know. And we also get Rock Tomb, which lowers speed. Yeah, whoop de doo I'm never going to use it just to spite you, Roxanne, just because I hate you so much. All right, bud, what's up? Whoa, what a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great, check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. you got to feel awesome. I have no idea what it's, what his voice is supposed to be. Okay, so our trainer card right here is your name. And there we go. Badge number one, the stone badge. Looks like a less than and a greater than sign, but a... Whatever, man. Doesn't bother me none. Anyways, also something we can do now that we beat Roxanne is we can teach somebody cut and they can use it outside of battle. Yeah, let's teach it to uh, HM Douche because that's his whole purpose in life is to use cut. Uh, now, we can use this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Oh, crap. It's Team Aqua. Oh, this guy. Wait, please. Don't take my goods. Oh, not the goods, man. Not the goods. That's worse than the bads. Should just take the bads, please. Just not the goods. Anyway, um, I I need to heal, so I'll do that. Be back in a second. Okay, guys, I lied. I'm gonna meet you back down here for um whatever reason. But I accidentally ran into this chick, and chicken leveled up to level 17, and he got paralyzed. So Cujo definitely needs to be uh, doing that now. Anyways, we're gonna utilize cut here. Fuck yeah, cut it, man. Go HM douche attack. Yeah, he took down that shroom tree. Oh, an X accuracy? Are you serious? Okay, well, anyway, now we want to uh, go back into this forest real quick, because if you remember, there were these uh, shroom, tea shroom trees right here. There better be something worthwhile past this, man. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm not even going to cut both trees down. Oh, God. Shroomish. 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 I hate shroomish. It evolves into an epic as hell Pokemon, but I hate it. Wait, there's gotta be something here. I knew it! A tiny mushroom. Useless, but I got it for the sake of arguments. Okay, does she want to battle? I'm pretty sure by the way she's looking around, she wants to duel. Alright, and just boop, right past you there. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what is this? A cascoon. Yeah, there's two Pokemon in here that are like Metapods and Kakunas, except they look exactly alike. Those are Cascoons and Silcoons. One evolves into Beautifly and one evolves into Dustox. Kind of like Butterfree and Beedrill, I guess. I don't know. It's just very similar to that. A Great Ball? Seriously? What else is over here? Oh, wait. There's an item over there. What is this? X Attack! Okay, so pretty much this whole trip has so far been extremely worthless. Thanks for that. Oh, there's got to be an item right there. Haha, -ha, another tiny mushroom. Damn it. Okay, moving on. Oh. Okay, I think, the, okay, that one's a Silcoon. They do look a little bit different. Their eyes look a tiny bit different. I guess you can tell the difference. Fine. All right, and now we're back down here to this useless part. Fine. Well, so those are those items. All right, I'm going to meet you guys back in Rustboro City to help the guy find his goods. Okay, guys, we're back in Rustboro. Now let's chase down that bloody Team Aqua member. The bloody Team Aqua member. Wait, has he gone? What do you have to say, fatty? Mm, sneaky looking man. Come to think of it, you yes, little fatty looking guy went around the corner. Oh, well, you don't say, do you? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalberg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have got to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble, mister. Serious trouble! Fine, okay, we've got to chase the Aqua member. Um, so I think this is the part where you're supposed to come over here and battle these goobers, but we've already done that, obviously. Oh my god, a battle of randomness? Yeah, we're going to have to start buying some Repello soon, folks, because this is just... This is consuming my time, so to speak. Alright, yes, okay, but now, more importantly, we're going to use these cut... I think the Team Aqua members are in the, uh... What do you call it? The thingy over there? The the cave? All right, I don't want to battle that guy yet. I want to see. I want to get the prizes. I want to get the goodies. 
Uh, oh yeah, maneuver around that chick. Don't worry, we'll fight these guys. But first, HM Douche has some work to do. Alright, there we go. Oh, we've got some berries over here too. I'm pretty sure these are like rare berries at this point in the game at least. Alright, what was all that for? An ether! Game! Okay, what do we got here? Peanut berries. Don't know what those do, but... Uh, I'm sure they're useful. But did we get three? Oh yeah, man, that's crazy. Boo, da, boo, da, boo, that's like the most awesome music for getting a shitty item I've ever heard. It's better than Mother 3 where it's like... -da 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 -da. You know the, you got a sucky item music. Or you got an item you didn't really want to get. Yes, return to its soft and loamy state. Awesome. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Hmm. Shall we fight these goobers? I think not. Alright, anyways, yeah, I guess we'll fight these guys and then we'll go chase after the Team Aqua member in the next episode because we are out of time. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Oh, wait, who's that old fool there, too? Oh my god, spoilers. Don't look at him. You didn't see anybody there. Okay, I'm just going to stand in front of this guy. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Scope, signing out. Peace.